yo, what's up? Welcome to the Garage of Doom. Uh, behind me, I have the Methane Rehearsal Studio. And today, I am going to... I'm redoing my garage and the wall to our studio. This wall, I'm going to make it metal. Let's see, I'll show you around here. Here is the wall. Um... My thought was here, okay, I'm going to paint this wall. I'm redoing my garage. I'm going to have all my tools and stuff here. And then I thought, well, this is where metal is made. So we're going to make a reactor wall. This is going to be the nuclear reactor. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Little paint job. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is I found this old uh, pipe insulation from a other project and I'm gonna decorate the wall I'm gonna glue these on like big bolts or something and uh, little other decorations that I bought I'll show you under the process here and then we're gonna paint it matte gray I've got a matte gray primer I changed into my painting clothes. I dug through my my toolboxes and weird stuff that I have lying around. I found some, yeah, like a, a vent, and I found some other stuff. I'm gonna try to put up on the wall. Then I'm gonna start painting. So here's where I've come with the uh, reactor doors. I hope the guys are going to be really surprised when they come to band practice next time. Now this is just the gray. After this I'm going to and dry brush it and then I'm even going to black wash, black wash it so it gets some really nice textures and some, some depth and some age. But uh, cool as hell right now see I didn't uh, fix the walls or anything I mean there's like big bangs in there I didn't do any kind of spackling or anything like that I wanted to keep yeah keep it so it, it has that has texture and, and age and corrosion and cool now I'm experimenting with some uh, dry brushing it's called i get the get some paint on the brush here i got silver spray paint in that i got i take my spray paint and i put it in here just spray a little puddle and i get a little bit on the brush and i dry the brush off do it on some paper i don't want too much on there but i want enough that i get on here i've got big big details so and I'm just kind of touching the just kind of you see where, where am I I'm just kind of like going back and forth with the with the brush and giving it some silver details let's get this guy in here see what happens I'm gonna hit these creases here also Just to give them a little bit of stand out and rest. But it'll make that stand out and then when I hit it with the black wash, the black wash will really make those things come out. I think the floor might even have more. Wear and tear. Well, I got some highlights in there and I think like the door, the door might just need like a big scratch in it. Maybe even a little bigger. There, get some more 
scratches at the door. Here, the side panel. You see that? Day two of the reactor painting. Now, I've done all my, my uh, dry brushing with the silver, and now I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna try to do a black wash on the walls to see if it really makes it like a, a old, uh, creepy looking wall. So let's see how I do that. Now I've got a black paint and some water in here. I'm gonna do just about 50-50 with that, I think. Um, I also have to be really careful that I don't get spill all over the floor. So I'm going to have some rags out and uh, then paint it on. I want that nice and watery. Mixing it up real good. Now that's pretty good. Um, you got the dark, dingy aspect going on here and makes it look like a real dirty iron wall. Buff some of that more. Comes off pretty good because it's water. Most of it. Yeah. So it's giving you depth and it's giving you age. Awesome. I got the black wash on, I got the silver highlights going. Um, put on some, some of our signs we have outside. And uh, next step will be some, some nuclear ooze. Day three of my wall paint. Um, I'm really happy with what happened here. It looks awesome. Now I've got some hobby paints and I'm going to mix them up. I'm going to do a little rust and I'm going to do a little slime coming out of the, out of the holes somewhere just to give it a little extra what the fuck. <laughs> First for the slime, I got some wood glue here. I'm going to pour it, pour it around so I get some like drippy effect. Let that dry, paint it green. Boom, slime. Yeah, so I blended up a little bit of uh, reds and oranges and browns and got a real rusty color. I'm gonna try to show you here what I'm doing. I've got it kind of thick here on my brush and I'm putting it in spots. Good job. And then I am dunking that in the right water, not in the wrong one. And watering it down 
so I get like that real rusty, runny color there. Well, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it too much orange? Is it not enough rust? Um, I'm digging it. I don't want to go overboard with everything. I think I got it real old and rusty and, and grimy. And of course, every thrash metal rehearsal studio has to have a gas mask. All right, so I waited a little while and my glue is getting dry here. It's dry enough to start putting on some green paint. All right, well, let's take a look. I'm done. I got some nice green ooze. Here's the door with that rust and the nuclear ooze. Well, for 30 bucks, I made an old wall look like this. I had, uh, I had gray house paint called Stone Slate, a little bit of black paint, some hobby paints, um, and a can of spray, silver spray paint, some brushes. That's all I needed. Um, tell me what you guys think. I'm super happy with this. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments. Please subscribe to our channel. It's awesome if you do that. Um, share, share, like, subscribe, like I said, all that stuff. And uh, keep it metal. See on your filthy fucking soul.